Good morning from the deck of the Master Styria. Day 14, 8 hours, 41 minutes. And uh, we find ourselves uh, heading up towards Newport. Um, probably in second position at the moment, as I'll show you quickly. We have uh, Full Moon and Peppers still around us. We have Greg still in front. And uh, we have Blackborough back here. Oh, there's Tommy. Uh, Sagi and Blackborough is around here somewhere, but not. Uh, we'll have a look on the real map and uh, check it out. So, here we are. And uh, I've just made a quick line to uh, Newport and then done a, a line across just to show the relative positions. You can see that. Uh, over the course of the last couple of days, uh, we've been sort of coming out and around uh, trading positions with, uh, with Full Moon. Uh, about a day or so ago, we crossed his path and have kept on going a bit to the, uh, the northwest, a bit more than he is, and we'll check that out, the, the relative headings in a while. Um, Blackborough down here has uh, has made up some some time in the last I don't know 24 hours as well as uh, Tommy who has been offline for quite a while but still doing a fairly good effort in terms of routing the, bo the boat uh, down here uh, we have other races who are coming up in the same type of direction uh, Dingo and Orbiter uh, came out fairly wide and then coming up. It will be interesting to see how how well that does for them. I think that they're uh, they're probably in line with these guys at present. If I take the take the line across, so what's the uh, what's the plan for the coming days? Well, pretty much stay on this path, come out, and then. Uh, the winds have been changing quite a lot up here, so up probably to the east of Hamilton, and then uh, some very light winds up into New York in about six or seven days' time. We are hoping that uh, the little bit of speed that we are getting at the moment, we're on a 117, 118 TWA at the moment, but it drops down to 110 with time, will uh, will be better than what uh, Greg is getting. He's uh, he's on a 316. He's on the same as us at the moment. So he's uh, actually changed recently to uh, to match us. Um, Pepper's 321, Full Moon 329. So he's heading much more north. So. Uh, Full Moon is probably getting a little bit more of a speed boost than us at the moment. Uh, Greg is keeping in line with us and Pepper's Ghost doing pretty much the same. Let's have a look at the, the rest of them down here. Um, we have 312 from him and where's, uh, where's, where's, where's... Not seen. What am I missing? Ah, there's Brew Power. Uh, he's doing 321, so he's even further to the uh, to the west than we are. So that's uh, that's how the situation is sort of playing out at the moment. Uh, hoping that we can uh, get out and around and and maybe challenge Greg in the last stages of this, of this race. As we hit this uh, this barrier up here, there's going to be a, a fairly good concertina effect where the boats behind us are going to catch up to us as we hit into uh, into the lull, and uh, that's natural, of course. We still do have uh, to Blackborough around about 108 nautical miles. We're about one, two, three, four, about. Four hours it was probably three and a half hours behind Greg at the moment. Uh, full Moon's about an hour behind us, and the same with uh, with Pepper's Ghost. So, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be tight in the next couple of, couple of days. 
not much time to uh, to change course or or do any manual sailing really, but it's going to be a just a bit of a luck of the draw where we're positioned and where the, where the winds next push us up past uh, past Hamilton here. All right, so that's the news for the day. I uh, hope to see you guys out there. Um, what I really want to say is, I was uh, for many many days I was hoping to uh, to catch uh, catch full moon. Uh, and be close enough to to have him on on video, but never never seemed to happen. Anyway, we, that might happen in the next couple of days, so we'll I'll uh, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, have a good day and uh, bye bye.